Rachel, thank you so much for being here. I am so sorry for what you and everyone in your community have been going through. It is, it's, it's, it's almost too much to comprehend. How are you personally holding up? And if you could take us through some of your efforts. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's, um, it's been a long five days, so I apologize. I'm a little, little weary over here. It's, um, it's a very humbling experience being out here. It's just amazing how a lot of us, you know, the horse community, we're really coming together. Um, everyone is donating what they can. If they can't, their time, their, you know, their finances, their resources. It really does take a village to help everyone out here. And, um, you know, all of our hearts go out. So we are all working together very closely to just come together and be out here for the people, their animals, their properties, their neighbors, their friends, their family. It's, um, it's, it's been very devastating being out here. Rachel, you know what I, uh, I was so heartened to see through all of this heartbreak and tragedy was that people were putting aside their differences, their, uh, you know, political difference, oh, and just what can I do to help you? What do you need? Uh, how can I get you a truck, a trailer, yeah. uh, feed? Can you, you can bring your animal to my home. And, and we need to do more of that in this country. I mean, I'm a political commentator, but the best of our country comes out in a time of crisis. And that applies to politicians who should, you know, sometimes button it and not comment on things. And people like me <laughs> and others. But I, I just applaud all of you for, for yeah. doing what we should do to help our fellow man. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, uh, you know, NorCal Livestock Evacuation and Rescue, this is what we're about. We're about, you know, we're a bunch of volunteers that are put together. We work individually with the owners. Um, so, you know, if the air is clear, we're able to come out here and get their animals. Um, we are closely working with, you know, CHP, with the rangers, with the game wardens. You know, we're out here wanting to make sure that we are also safe. Um, as well as the property. So when we go in here and get these animals, then we can go ahead and bring them back to, you know, the volunteers that, you know, and the other certified help that are working closely with the veterinarians to get the animals the care that they need, um, you know, so they can be reunited. And it is amazing how much social media has gone on. I mean, you know, all of us every other once in a while, you know, we're like, oh man, we don't want to get on Facebook yeah. today. What's going to be on there? But it has been amazing at how far Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, you got yeah, it done. It is, it's you know, Amazing. tagging Rachel, people. Our, our, yeah. Rachel, thank you so much. An, an incredible report. And don't lose your own life as much as we want to save our animals. Look out for yourself, too, my friend.